Welcome to the weekly. I'm Jessica Ramirez, a market strategist with Moomoo. Well, investors have gone on a buying frenzy, and it's been fueled by the Fed cutting interest rates for the first time in four years. Now, bullish sentiment and broad buying in stocks has pushed Australia's ASX 200, as well as the US S&P 500, as we can see, and gold prices to brand new record all-time highs. Now, the amount of trades on Thursday's session in the US was 9% above fresh averages. Now, this suggests that there is a lot of power perhaps behind what we're seeing. Also, we saw the market's fear gauge fall over 10% on Thursday down from its fresh highs. And that's basically illustrating that sophisticated investors are betting the US economy will stay in growth mode and US earnings will continue to grow along with stocks. Of course, thanks to the Fed's half a percent rate cut and plan to map out rate cuts by about 2%. So hedge funds have ploughed into large stocks, uh, typically poised to benefit from rate cuts. And if we just flick over the slide, we can see that the construction and engineering sector is up the most this week, 7.5%, with oil and gas consumer spending benefactors as well, and copper following higher, as well as stocks such as PayPal up the most, up 10%. That's the biggest gain that we can see uh, in the NASDAQ this week with Airbnb following. Big tech names as well, such as Meta, are seeing heavy buying. Its shares up 7%. As we can see, well, Tesla is up about 6%. Now, Tesla is also the second most bought stock on Moomoo's platform this week. Um, NVIDIA is actually the first or most popular bought stock. Now, if we have a look and flick over to Australia's share market, we can see similar tunes are being played out down under here. Investors are buying into those US rate cut benefactors such as tech, energy, metals and gold. Meanwhile, we're seeing Australia's real estate sector move up and that's because some are now betting that the RBA could cut rates next year. Uh, Zip shares, as we can see, they're up the most in the ASX 200 this week, up over 18%. And that's because the buy now, pay later business makes 52% of their revenue from the US. So do you buy into markets now? That's the question on everyone's lips. Well, there's a couple of major catalysts for you to consider. The first one is this. Earnings season is around the corner. Now, earnings estimates from reporting season uh, will start to come in in about two weeks with earnings season kicking off then. Now, earnings have been upgraded after the Federal Reserve's super-sized rate cut with markets now expecting 13% earnings growth for the year ahead. So the question is, will the Fed's rate cuts help earnings growth reach that? If the answer is yes, and companies do guide for 13% earnings growth ahead, then you could see higher share price valuations. So that's something to consider. Second of all, do consider if we don't see earnings coming in as strong as expected, then markets will probably be pretty choppy heading into 2025. But the longer term view is this. Um, the equity market is poised to see a positive year ahead. That's because markets tend to go up after the first rate cut if there is no recession. Remember, markets have gone up 70% of the time six months after the first Fed rate cut. Plus, there's a record $6.2 trillion of US dollars sitting in cash in US money market funds, mostly from institutional investors. So the question is, when will that money start to come back into the equity market? Maybe after we know who is going to be leading um, in uh, who wins the US election rather. And once we also see US earnings season uh, continue to bring out earnings growth. What to watch now? Well, today Apple's new iPhone 16 goes on sale. We'll be seeing if their new iPhone boosts sales. Next week, Australia Central Bank, the RBA, meets on Tuesday. Of course, they're not expected to cut rates, uh, but bets are on for the first cut by the RBA to begin in February next year. The commentary could be really important, perhaps for local consumer spending and property stocks. 
And that's the weekly. Leave your questions in the comments section below. Bye for now. Happy trading and stay safe.